Hi there, this is Ranga from In 28 Minutes and it's been a long time since I created a video. So I thought I would create a video debugging some of the Agile myths. Agile is really a great way of developing software. I love the Agile Manifesto. I mean, there are very, very important things in the Agile Manifesto, which gives you a clear direction of how to go ahead with Agile. However, there are a few things in the Agile Manifesto a lot of people do not understand properly. These are what I call as the Agile myths. So in this video, let's understand a little bit of the Agile Manifesto and also discuss the myths around Agile. So what does the Agile Manifesto tell you? So the Agile Manifesto tells you individuals and interactions over process and tools. So what does that, this really mean? It means the interactions between people are more important than following strict processes and tools. The focus is on agile is on the interaction, the communication more than the process. The next one is working software. So in the waterfall model, we have a set of defined phases. The output of our architecture phase is a document. The output of the design phase is a document. Rather than that in agile, we really focus on having working software. So after each iteration, we have something really working, which is delivered or which is deployed and tested. Rather than focusing on the documentation, we focus on creating really working software. The other one, third important manifesto principle in Agile is customer collaboration over contract negotiation. So what does it mean? This means that collaborating with the customer and understanding what is requirements are more important than negotiating contracts. I think that really makes sense. And the last one is responding to change or following a plan. So the importance is given to adopting to a change. So when there's a change, I mean, software is all about change. I mean, there is nothing constant about software. When you start, I mean, anything in software, technology, requirements, everything keeps changing over a period of time. So in Agile, focuses on responding to change or following a plan. So this kind of gives you the broad framework of the mindset you need to have when you are adopting Agile. But there are a few Agile myths which come based on what's in the manifesto. So manifesto says individuals and interactions over process and tools. That does not really mean that there are no process, there is no tools. That's not the truth. Working software over comprehensive documentation. That does not mean no documentation. Responding to change over following a plan. That does not mean no plan. All that that means is that compared to responding to change, having a detailed one year plan is not really important. So focus on responding to change, have a plan which is which can respond to change rather than creating a rigid, rigid long-term plan. Let's discuss each of these myths in detail. No process. Actually, Agile places a lot of focus on having clear processes for specific activities. But at a high level, you would not really have a lot of process. In fact, Agile promotes a lot of processes which improves the interactions between teams. For example, code reviews. I would really love to have a clear, well-defined process for code reviews. So, how do you ensure that there is no technical debt with your code? How, you are, how do you ensure that your code follows the four principles of simple design? So the usage of the appropriate tools, the usage of, let's say if you're using it, then having a clear process around how do you handle change? So creating a separate feature branch for each of your requests, uh, making sure that there's a pull request for each of your changes, making sure that the pull requests are reviewed by at least to developers. So all these kind of processes really exist in Agile. Each of the specific activities in Agile, you really have a well-defined process. How do you deploy software? There's really a well-defined software, I mean, well-defined process. And in most situations, this is even automated. So there are clear defined processes in Agile. Agile does not really mean no process, no tools. Again, this is another myth. I mean, Agile is actually dependent on having great tools. I mean, having continuous integration, having continuous, I mean, having great deployment tools, having great 
good quality tools, having uh, good tools for your version control, like Git, for example, or JIT as it might be called. So Agile really does not mean no tools. It just means you value interactions over process and tools. So whatever tools which help you promote interactions, whatever tools which help, whatever processes which help you promote interactions, that's do them. Agile does not mean no process, no tools. The other thing is no plan. I mean, that's really not true. The real fact in Agile is that you create more flexible plans. So you don't really create a detailed one year plan, but you'd go ahead and create a small high level plan of what features you'd want to have. And the chain, the other thing is that the plans are more short term plans. So you don't really plan for years together. Probably you'd have a plan for next two months, probably for the next couple of sprints. And these plans are more flexible. The last agile myth which I want to debunk is no documentation. Actually, that's the worst myth in agile. I mean, a lot of people, a lot of my colleagues say, this is agile. Why do you, I need a requirement documentation. Why do I need design documentation? No, that's not the truth. Agile says working software is important, but whatever helps you to get to that working software is also important. Software is not developed at one time and thrown away. Software is something which evolves and to keep the software evolving, you need proper documentation. But the documentation which we use in Agile is little different from let's say the waterfall documentation. In waterfall, we provide probably a thousand page document describing the architecture, a 2000 page document describing design. Probably in Agile, you would not have such extensive documentation. The focus in Agile is to really have less formal documentation I mean, even if you draw a picture and that picture conveys what the architecture of the system is with hand and you you just take a picture and have it as the document, that's good. Because anybody who sees the picture can understand what the architecture is. Same with the design. So in Agile, the focus is on creating very simple documentation which helps you to understand it. So the focus in Agile is not to create comprehensive documentation but just enough documentation to help you understand whatever you're doing. So just enough documentation to understand the requirements, just enough documents to understand your architecture, just enough documentation to understand your design. Those are the four agile myths which I've seen in my experience. And so if you are doing an agile project and see somebody talk about these agile myths, you know what to do. Ask them to watch this video. Okay, until next time, bye-bye.